Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We probably have a chat with everyone. Say about that facility on Vault. There will be, but maybe not right now. I get you, pal. Inane chats are about nothing. Coming up. Mental wellness. Elliot, how's it going? Pathfinder, hey, I was wondering, could you put your stamp on a project? It's for me and Jarl to work on. Call it diplomacy if you have to put it in a budget bucket. Greenlight that research and it's all good. Just wondering what you think of how I'm doing at the job. I'm committed to the initiative. You're Pathfinder. It's as simple as it gets. We barely covered how you joined. Tell me something about yourself. All right. I was a bad student, piss poor cop, great responder. Had a good life, but it all been done. I wasn't looking to start over. I wanted to start big. You were a cop then, crisis response? Couldn't have been long in either. Didn't have the patience for law, so I figured enforcement. Dad knew it didn't fit before I did, but it got me into hustle. They mostly take vets and retired service. Best years of my life. You found your place. Not everyone gets that. I knew it. Glad for it every day. And that led me here. Tell me about your family. I miss the hell out of them. Some nights you just cry, right? That's the thing everyone does. Mom Joel, Dad Calvin. Both lawyers. Met on the Citadel, settled on Earth. No brothers or sisters. That... might have been too much to leave. It was traditional. How about you? Life with my family was not typical, on a number of fronts. You may do though, right? Family has to. I know mm. mine did. I said goodbye to my mom and dad, and got on a ship to Andromeda. We'll talk later. I know it. Alright. Hey, Joe, how you doing? There's always more to say and to learn. Isn't there? Always. I want to learn more about your species. What would you like to know? How long have you had electromagnetic capabilities? How did they evolve? No idea. Biology doesn't interest me. <laughs> but I'm sure you can easily read up on it. That's disappointing. No biology at all? How do your eyeballs work? Okay, I get your point. Maybe I can find an Angara doctor to ask about your... Whatever. Although, I used to know some facts. Like, the origins of our vestigial organs. Oh, yeah. Humans have a coccyx, a vestigial tail. And I have webbed toes, just a couple, but Sarah doesn't. And she had wisdom teeth, but I didn't. Now you. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> Played. You studied with Moshe Sefa. Is she a teacher or a religious figure? She's many things. She's a clear thinker with deep knowledge and insight. She teaches and inspires. She is beloved. I love her. People are willing to die for her. She sounds pretty special. She is. I hope you get to know her. The Angara seems so open and free with their feelings. Are we? Hmm. Well, we're certainly not ashamed of our feelings. We're taught that feelings and beliefs should live on the outside, where they can be dealt with, honestly and openly. Don't people get hurt? Of course. Then everyone deals with it. That's the point. That's very relevant to today's society right now, isn't it? How many colonies do you have? On what planets? Since the Scourge, we've managed to survive on a small number of planets. What we know from before the Scourge is mostly oral history. We did have spaceflight, and the stories tell of five original colonies. Is there a central Angaran religion? There are many variations. An almanac could give you an accurate number. But if you are a believer, the essential tenet is, after we die, we are reincarnated. 
We evolve to make our families strong. Born from what was before. Blessed to be better than before. Are you a believer? No. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes. I don't know if it's the same for humans. Sahuna, my true mother, is a firm believer. Well, enough about that. Can you tell me more about the cat occupation? It's a difficult subject. I'll answer what I can. I may get emotional. What's living under the cat been like for you? Do you really want to hear about these things? They're painful. I asked, didn't I? It's like living on unstable ground. Every day brings more horrible news. I part company with someone not knowing if I'll ever see them again. When I was a boy, my father vanished from my life. One horrible day. Was he in the resistance? No. He was a technician at a mine. He went to work and didn't come home. That happens for an Angara child somewhere every single day. Damn. When the cat came, why didn't you fight? They didn't give us a reason to. Until they did. Then it was too late. Perhaps you think we were weak. But the cat are ruthless. They are masters at knowing exactly when and how to strike. I get that. Believe me. Have the cat always been here? No. Some, like the Moshai, are old enough to remember the time before the Ket. But I don't. Nor do my mothers. And the Archon came with them? We think so. Resistance intel on that is unclear, and few have seen him in person. And lived to tell? And lived to tell. Well, enough about that. Do you have a mate? A partner? I don't. Not for a long time. Not for a long time? <laughs> I fell in love with a girl once. Aaliyah. We were young. <laughs> I was young. It was my first vassal on Aya. We worked on the same farm. She was a little older. A researcher. I can still hear her laugh and see her eyes. She kissed me and I was hers. Thrilled and seduced. But it didn't work out? My older brother came to Aya. He was already famous in the resistance. Yeah. Where's Aaliyah now? Did she and your brother work out? They came back to Haval, and she joined our family. She became one of the mothers. You have to see her every day? No. They were taken by the kit. Their children survived. Ugh. Well, enough about that. Can I ask you a few more questions? Of course. If I can answer them, I will. Did you always want to be a fighter? Did you study anything particular in school? I... <laughs> no. I don't like to talk about it. But I'm not a fighter. Not really. The Ket occupation creates chaos. So our education is chaotic. <laughs> I'm not really anything. But that's an excuse. The truth is, I don't know what I want yet for my life at my age i hope being here will inspire me can you tell me about your family uh, assuming you have one sit down this will take time is someone bringing us snacks and drinks <laughs> Whoa, your family's that big i have one true mother sauna and more than five additional mothers and Many, many, many siblings. <laughs> and cousins. All raised together. 
Our families constantly change and evolve. Relationships come and they go. My father is gone, taken, or killed by the Ket. We never found his body. I'm sorry about that, Jarl. I understand. I just lost my dad. <laughs> Something in common between aliens, then. We are fatherless, yet we fight on. Anything else you want to ask? Do Angara plan their futures? Do you dream about what you want to accomplish? <laughs> you put plan and dream in the same question. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. You meant to do that. Angara thirst for now. We don't strive to make the future better. We strive because the present is lacking. Well, enough about that. I'll see you later, Jarl. Stay strong and clear. All right. Uh, Drak is in there. Update on Jarl. Roger, I thought you should know. I spoke to Jarl after some reflection. He seems to accept that the process of exaltation cannot be reversed. I apologise if I was harsh before. I can get a little passionate when it comes to patience and my professional opinion. I know you are only trying to help and ultimately we both just want what's best for the Tempest crew. I will continue to run tests and study the data you obtained from the Ket facility regarding exaltation. But right now I must believe that the what the evidence tells me which is that exhortation is permanent. Fair enough. Hello, Scott. Hello, Exploring Sam. Exploring the exhortation facility brings a Salarian quote to mind. We uplifted desperate souls into weapons and know not what we destroyed. That's a fair description of exaltation. I have changed since we linked, but I am still myself. Exaltation takes personhood and overwrites it, destroys it. I already understood that such destruction is wrong. Now, through you, I know why it is abhorrent. How are those jokes coming, Sam? Why do Elcor start stampedes? Because they wish to be heard. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Oh, good. Next door neighbor still renovating. All right. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Thank you, Sam. Okay, so Haval is still not quite done. God damn it. Those were not there before. Right, they'll have to wait for now. Bold is done, Eos still has some to do there, but for now let's push the story on a bit and head to Kadara. We spent a few too many episodes on side quests. System, Gavorkum, approaching Kadara. Besides being a haven for Nexus exiles, what do we know about this place? A group of exiles called the Outcasts liberated Kadara port from the Ket. Until recently, their power was absolute. But a new gang, the Collective, has been chipping it away. Real shady bastards, led by an unknown called the Charlatan. Well, with luck, they'll be too busy shooting at each other to notice us. Probes launched. Getting a scan. Ooh, wreckage. Well, that really is a wreckage. Nothing left. Right, nothing else. Orion Nav Processor. Right, you're scanned.
Shame we never got that quarry and DLC for this. Anomaly detected. Alright. Probes launched. I found something. Alright. A mountain, apparently. That was worth a scan. I'm not going to question it. Alright. Deposit. We'll have that then. All right, here we go. Now orbiting Gadara. Standing order for all incoming ships. The port is a ceasefire zone by order of Sloan Kelly. She was head of Nexus security. Be ready for anything, and keep comms open. Should hear from our resistance contact soon. All right, here we go, Kadara. <laughs> right next to a black hole. Excellent. Incoming call. Patching it through. There's been a development regarding the spy, Venturev. Rendezvous at Crawler's Song. Your contact's codename is Shayna. Shayna? Got it. That's one hell of a welcome sign. Exiles have stepped up their game since the revolt. Not too shabby for folk who got kicked off the station with nothing to show for it. Maybe we can get them back on our side. We know they can fight Ket. Our supplier's waiting. Come on. We're gonna be late. Do I even want to know? Nope. <laughs> right, there's something around here to scan. All right, you gonna let me talk to you? What are you doing to these people? Nothing they weren't expecting. Port's got two rules: no guns and pay your protection fees. What are you, the mob? <laughs> Other way around. Outcasts of the law, Kadara. You got a problem with that? You can join these assholes. Pathfinder, it will be difficult to find the spy if you're barred from the city. Guess that's true. What was that? Nothing. I'll be on my way. Creep. Fuck you. How are we supposed to survive out there? Not my problem. You're no better than the Nexus. Don't blame us because it's a big means. Sounds not running a fucking charity. Game one 
Pathfinder. Interested in the Collective's services? How do you know who I am? The Collective makes a point of knowing everything and everyone worth knowing in Helios. You sound more like information brokers than pirates. The two aren't mutually exclusive. Who is the charlatan? No one seems to have a straight answer. The charlatan is our leader and a private individual. Even I haven't seen them in person. You take orders from a stranger? I've met representatives. People who speak for the charlatan and carry out their will. Whoever the charlatan is, man or woman, they provide information, care, resources. It's ours. That's enough for me. Like right, the Shadow Broker. I'm having trouble nailing down what the Collective is, exactly. Understandable. We aren't one thing. Think of us as a service provider. We cater to our clients' needs. Even if that means killing and stealing from people. Survival is an ugly business, Pathfinder, but unlike the outcasts, we aren't governed by hate. If the initiative proved reasonable, I'm sure the charlatan would be willing to work with the Nexus. What's going on between the Collective and the Outcasts? Officially, nothing. Unofficially? Lines are being drawn, Pathfinder. That's all I can say. Let's say I was interested in joining your little gang. How would I do that? You're more high profile than our usual members, but it's up to the charlatan who joins. If you have potential, our leader will reach out to you. Usually through a representative. And then what? For some, that's it. Others may have to pass a test. It's different for every recruit. Thanks for your time. Of course, Pathfinder. Of course. Interesting. Wait for contact. Here we go. Hey! Piss off. You order, you pay. I said. <laughs> you look like you're waiting for someone. I've got time for a drink. Shayna, but you can call me Reyes. I hate the code names. I was expecting someone more. Angaran. <laughs> the resistance pays me to supply information. Among other things. So you're a smuggler? Your man, Venterev, was arrested by Sloan Kelly, leader of the outcasts. Word spread about what he did to Moshe Sefa. The people are calling for his execution. And Sloane? <laughs> She's a woman of the people. Dress it up however you want. She's a criminal. You work for the initiative. Sloane was part of the uprising on the Nexus. I doubt she'll give Ven up easily. Maybe she'll agree to a deal. There might be another way to get to Ven. You work Sloan. I'll talk to the Resistance. How do I contact you if things go south? Whatever that hey, means. You gotta pay. Keep the change. Always do. <laughs> what a lovely place. Oh my, this was taking a while to undo. Hello. Tell me about Sloan Kelly. 
Before joining the initiative as head of Nexus Security, Miss Kelly served in the Alliance with a nearly spotless record. Nearly? She was involved in multiple altercations with other officers. A hothead. Great. Nice gear. Could find something better. Check the console. I've been looking for an edge. Out here, you'll need it. Right. Sell a bunch of stuff. Now I know what I'm actually doing. I can get my N7 armor. Cause this is cause may be acquired by defeating remnant architects. Okay, so I can just uh, keep picking those up. I'm assuming it's not going to let me sell stuff I already have equipped. do that should I should clear uh, clear up more than enough space I'm stealer I'm a merchant All right let's go meet this Sloan Kelly Probably where they're keeping the prisoner. Keep your hands where I can see them. Shut up. Focus defenses here and here. The cat have been quiet for too long. What? You must be Sloane Kelly. I'm... I know who you are. So, what brings a Pathfinder to our humble port? Venterev. Name ring any bells? What's he to you? And don't lie to me. I need him so I can infiltrate a Ket flagship. You've obviously got no love for the Ket. I'm doing you a favor. Kadara is an Angaran port. They want Ven dead. And I want to keep them happy. This is bigger than local politics. You don't need Ven. You need his intel. Talk to him before I put his head on a spike. Ven should be judged by the Resistance, not you. I don't have time for a morality debate. Dismissed. Your Highness. <laughs> Death 
That could have gone better. Perhaps Mr. Vidal had more success. Right. All right, Reyes, where are you at? Oh, there you are. Pathfinder, over here. Have a nice chat? I think she likes me. <laughs> Don't worry. I found a workaround. Let me guess. It comes with strings attached. Not any new ones. Remember, Ephra wants Ven alive, so when you get inside, give him this. That'll eat through whatever Sloan's holding him in. And it can't be traced back to us. A resistance agent will be waiting to pick Ven up. Ven's intel better be worth it. <laughs> You'll be the judge of that, not me. There's a maintenance shaft around the corner, sending the access code to your Omni tool. That'll get you inside. You should be able to handle the rest. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Literally, in Ven's case. When you're done, come to Tartarus. First round's on me. I promise. Oh, right, wrong way. Looks like it leads to a stock room. Sam, anyone up there? No heat signatures detected. The room is clear to enter. <clears throat> what do you want? The Archon's ship. Where is it? This a new interrogation tactic? Sloan's getting lazy. I'm not with Sloan. Afra sent me. Answer my questions and I can get you back to the Resistance. So I'm trading one cell for another? This is what happens when you make deals with the bad guy. Or stay here. Sloan's sharpening up a spike just for your head. Uh, I'd rather be miserable than cock and food. Which brings us back to the Archon's ship. Where is it? I never saw it. Got my orders from a Ket transponder. But you could use its frequency to triangulate the Archon's location. Do you still have it? I buried it before I was arrested. Should still be outside the city. This is your way out of here. A resistance contact will be waiting. Don't you want to know why I did it? Why I betrayed the Moshai? Enlighten me. We're losing the war against the Ket, and still, Ephra puts my brothers and sisters in danger to protect a useless old woman. So you took things into your own hands? I made the call he wouldn't. The Archon only wanted the Moshai. I thought if I gave her up... Ah. <sighs> I didn't know what the Ket were doing to my people. You resent Ephra, so the Archon used that against you. If Ephra was a better leader, uh, it doesn't matter. And I'll accept the consequences. As you should. Pathfinder, the communicator is buried outside the ceasefire zone. I suggest bringing a squad. Vetra, Drac, are you back from whatever it was you were doing? Yep, our completely legitimate business deal went off without a hitch. <laughs> Benefit of bringing a Krogan along. Tell Gil to prep the Nomad. I need to go outside the city. All right, we've got some additional. Strikes again. If you would like, Pathfinder, I could provide an analysis of the deceased. 
He's Angaran. There are multiple lacerations on the face and abdomen. Another body? I don't get paid enough for this shit. There's been more than one murder? Seven by my count, but that's all I know. Perhaps Mr. Vidal would have more information, Pathfinder. Hey, mate. Uh, what's this way? Okay, I've gone completely the wrong way. Follow Sloan and be rewarded. Pathfinder, I'm afraid Sloan put you on the no recruit list. We can still talk, right? I want to know more about the outcasts. I'll answer what I can. Tell me about Sloane. Before the uprising, she was head of Nexus Security. She gave up her position to protect us. We'd be dead if not for her. Do you know her personally? She makes it a point to get to know all of her people. Which is a lot more than the charlatan can say. What does it mean to be part of the outcasts? For most people, it's a sense of security. Something desperately needed in Helios. You didn't feel secure on the Nexus? You weren't there during the uprising. It was chaos. And the idiots running things only made it worse. Thanks to Sloane, we have direction. A family. So you're happy under Sloane? I... yeah. Guess I am. <laughs> Can't say this is what I expected when I signed up in the Milky Way. But I came to Andromeda to be part of something bigger than myself. I have that with the outcasts. Mm, you don't sound convinced. Can anyone join the outcasts? Besides me, of course. Anyone can show interest, but Sloane has final say on who becomes a member. I'm guessing there's a selection process. All recruits undergo a series of trials that tests their endurance, loyalty, and intellect. Things seem tense between the outcasts and the Collective. They're a bunch of hypocritical upstarts who hide their dirty tactics behind good business. See? There's that tension. Sloane will make quick work of them. Why hasn't she done so already? It's not for me to question her methods. Kader is ours. Nothing's gonna change that. Mm, don't get too complacent. That's all for now. See you around, Pathfinder. Okay, I think this is the way to go. Yeah. Come on, Grace. Pull yourself together. You okay? What? Oh, yeah, of course. Maybe you should freak out more quietly then, so you don't draw attention to yourself. Shit, I'm not that obvious. Uh, yeah. What's going on? I joined the outcasts a few weeks ago. Kytus tasked me with collecting protection fees. Thought it'd be easy. But we talked to so many people. I got the names mixed up and banished someone who paid their fee. They didn't protest it? Of course, she did. But they all do. We don't really listen. You just kicked her out. No questions asked. You don't have to guilt trip me. I thought about looking for her, but I can't risk Kytus finding out I screwed up. I need this job to feed my little brother. Our mom's still in cryo on the Nexus. He's got no one else. I'll look for her. Just tell me her name and any clues about where she might be. Remy Tamayo. She would have gone to the slums for processing. After that, no idea. The warden might know. Everyone who's banished to the Badlands goes through him. Excellent stuff. Oh, research center.
Oh, I sold a bunch of materials I need. Fuck. Okay, well. Uh, in the ass. You're the Pathfinder, right? One of your crew, Liam, already secured parking for your vehicle. She's ready for you. Well, thanks very much. Hit lift to slums, return to the Tempest. Lift to the slums. Oh, I've sold my legs. Oh, right, okay, so you can sell things you already have equipped. Fuck. Right, okay. I need to be more I need to be more careful then. I don't like that design. That's a bit of a design flaw. You shouldn't be able to sell what you already got what you already have equipped. Oh well. Lesson learned. Maybe. Oh, what was that? A city under a city. At the center is Tartarus, a nightclub. That's where Rhea said he'd be. How toxic can it be? Oh yeah, and it's the water here oh, is shit. toxic. Okay, don't touch that. What is this place? A business establishment. Perfectly legal. Everything's legal in Kadara. <laughs> and that's the way we like it. You got an issue? Bring it up with Sloan. Fair enough. Okay. Well, this is depressing. You're not wrong, PB. You're not wrong. You're lucky to be alive. It'll take more than a glass of water to kill me, Doc. Yes, two glasses would do the trick. Krogan or not, unfiltered water here is the same as poison. I drank everything the Milky Way had to offer, and I'm still standing. This isn't the Milky Way. Kadar's water will kill you. If you're thirsty, stick to alcohol. Hmm. The doctor's ever told me that before. <laughs> Best doctor ever. You look well enough. My patients are usually leaking from somewhere. No leaking here. Just seeing all Kadara has to offer. A tourist, huh? Pathfinder, actually. One survived? Could have used you when we got to Helios. Dr. Ryota Nakamoto. I used to work as the outcast's physician. Quit after Sloan turned what should have been a medical breakthrough into a drug. I thought she was supposed to be a woman of the people. She's whatever she needs to be to stay in power. When we arrived on Kadara, I found a local string of bacteria that shares properties with penicillin. Quite the find. It was, until I discovered the drug is addictive and induces hallucinations in large doses. I took my concerns to Sloan. All she saw was an opportunity to make a profit, called the drug Oblivion. But beyond stealing back my formula, there's no way to stop her. So let's steal the formula. Are you crazy? It's heavily guarded. I'm a doctor. I don't know how to fight. Don't worry. We got this. The formula's in my old lab. Please don't get killed trying to fix my mistake. <sighs> oh, there's one this way. Over there, and one in here. Music, dancing, booze, hell yes. Hello. 
What's your poison? I'm not picky. My kind of customer. First round's on me. You're more reputable than my usual clientele. What was it like after leaving the Nexus? Oh, it was lovely. One big, smelly mutineer party. Your sarcasm survived the trip. <laughs> what can I say? It sucked. They had limited supplies and nowhere to go. Kadara's paradise in comparison. Even with the shite water. The outcasts or the collective giving you any trouble? Not really. They tend to shoot each other in remote places, where no one's looking. That won't last forever. All it takes is one wrong move, and things get over. What will you do then? Board up the place, and hold out till the smoke clears. Your bar has a unique design. Something tells me these cages aren't just decorative. They're for your protection as much as ours. Trust me, my employees can take care of themselves. Guessing you had issues? Outlaws and pirates aren't known for their manners. Some customers got rowdy and ended up losing fingers. The bars won't stop a bullet, but it's a clear warning to keep your hands to yourself. I'll let you get back to it. <sighs> Never enough drinks to pour. Alright. Hmm. Data pad. Uh, based on the latest data, I suggest investing in... Uh, all right, market's going to be flooded with sulfur, and when the mining starts, Barite's the perfect weighing agent. If you want to collect samples, there's a deposit in Rolia. M. Hello. Want to make some easy credits? Always. I like your conviction. As you may know, Kadara's most valuable trade is scrap and resources stolen from the Nexus. But that well's running dry. I'm not stealing for you. Not my goal. My focus is resources native to Andromeda. I have it on good authority there's a large barite deposit in Andromeda. Barite's going to be big. You don't say. I sent a surveyor to check it out, but he hasn't returned. All I need from you is peace of mind. Send me his last nav point. I'll check on him. Much appreciated. All right. There's one upstairs, Jesus. Here he is. Ryder, glad you're here. I'm sure you've heard about the murders. There's a fresh body outside Crawlis. Some of the locals say it's the charlatan's handiwork. I don't buy it. The charlatan is discreet, careful. Whoever did this wanted the bodies found. Making a statement. But to who? The killer could be unhappy with how Sloan's running things. Less than a third of the victims are outcasts. No. If I was the betting man, and I am, I'd say it was the Rokar. Why would Rokar be in Kadara port? It's Angaran built. And before Sloan, Angaran run. I think the Rokar came here looking for new recruits, and things got out of hand. And the Angara victims? How do they fit into your theory? I did some digging. All of the deceased Angara were public Milky Way sympathizers. So the victims either were from the Milky Way... ...or supported us. It's the only pattern I could find. An Angaran port run by aliens would be a prime target for their cause. Problem is, I've got no proof. And the Resistance doesn't want to antagonize the Rokar. Guessing that's where I come in. I need that fancy AI of yours to scan for evidence that could implicate the Rokar. People are scared, Ryder. This is your opportunity to win friends in Kadara port. Looks like I'm adding detective to my growing list of titles. Detectives find things, and you're... A pathfinder. Yeah, I got it. One of the crime scenes isn't far. Give me a call when you get there. Oh, steady on. All right. 
Jesus, what else is there here? And what was that? Another data pad. Uh, upstairs private room is now occupied, so you'll have to uh, find a new place to nap. Bring the gentleman wherever he asks. Tab is under Videl. Cassandra Verna. Sorry, if you're looking for a dance, I'm off the clock. Is this what you came all the way here for? Living in a place like this? Had to get away from my crazy family in the Milky Way. My brother, Conrad, well, he's a couple of quarts low on Ezo, if you know what I mean. But now I'm here, and it's great. That Sloan Kelly, I want to be just like her. That attitude, her accent. She's like, hey, you bastard, lick my boots, kiss my ring, and then my bum. I want to work for her. Then call up my brother, Conrad, and be all, see, idiot, you're not the only one in the family hanging out with famous people. Right. Good luck with that. Ugh, like brother, like sister. You're that initiative big shot, aren't you? Maybe. Maybe not. Do I owe you credits? Ah, you're a playful one. I like that. You could say I'm disillusioned with the Exiles. People here can't be trusted. Sooner stabby in the back than work together. So, I got no love for any of them. They don't deserve you. Damn straight. Outlaws got innovative ways of putting stuff together. I bet a smart one like you could learn a lot from scrutinizing our, uh, stuff. You should check out Outlaw Tech and Materials. Might learn a few things. You remember who gave you the skinny on that. Thanks. All right, so the last guy we need to talk to is in here. If you're thinking of heading into the Badlands, well, you may never come back. Oh, I'll come back. What do you know about the situation out there? You might say I'm warden of the Badlands. It's not a place for tourists. Tough beyond these walls. I can handle it. A lot of people say that, and then we never see them again. Badlands are Kadar's dumping ground, like a giant prison. When you're too nasty for even this place, we kick you out there. You mean, exiles who get exiled? Yep, worst of the worst. And some of them want to be there. Got secrets to hide, I guess. The water's toxic. Sulfur springs are everywhere. Have a nasty habit of catching fire. Yeah. <laughs> so have at it. Knock yourself out. I'm looking for a Remy Tamayo. Any idea where I might find her? Hmm. Tamayo. Tamayo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's the one who kept insisting she's innocent. She is innocent. The outcast collecting the fees made a mistake. Remy paid up. Well, shit. That's never happened before. Not here to point fingers. I just want to find her. <laughs> Look at you, playing the hero. Last time I saw your girl, she was talking with Johan and his crew. Nasty bunch. I'll send you the nav point to their last known location. Prepare for a fight. Thank very much. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. And it begins. And the water is like a festering wound that no medicine can heal. Let's Should I send it. you back to the Tempest? Is that an option? All right, Sam. Show me what we've got. Kadara's water is dense with sulfide minerals. The oxidation of which produces toxic streams and lakes. Never liked swimming much, anyways. That is fortunate. <laughs> Even the nomad's shields cannot withstand the water's corrosive properties. The presence of monoliths suggests a vault that might reduce the acidity. However, outlaws, pirates, and other unsavory exiles inhabit Kadara's hills. The further you travel from the mountain, the more dangerous it will become. Good to know. Let's get out there. 
All right. And with that, I'm going to end. The water's on fire. That's not natural, right? An exothermic reaction from the sulfuric acid coming in contact with water in the atmosphere. Right, and now with that, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Mass Effect Andromeda, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now. <laughs>